go? Can you go? What's up, people? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Oh, my God. And the crowd goes wild. Hold on, hold on. The crowd goes wild. Yeah. yeah. One more, one more. The crowd goes wild. Jose Trujillo. Oh, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. One more, one more round of applause. Yeah. Daniel? One more round of applause. Daniel? Daniel? Alright, let's do let's do this little painting. I'm ready to do a little painting. Come on, let's do a little painting. Okay. Bye. Here we go. Check it out. Boom. What is happening, Jose? All kinds of good stuff is happening. What's happening, people? What's up? How's it going, Francis? What's up, beautiful people of the Grams? Where are my beautiful people of the Instagram? All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. I had a really nice lunch right now, or lunch slash dinner. Man, I'm telling you what. I'll tell you what. I like how some people are like, tell you what. I had a, a beef soup called cocido. It's a very, uh, uh, I don't know what other countries have it besides Mexico. I'm sure that there's other countries. But it's not cocido like, uh, like, like Spanish cocido. Spanish cocido is different. Uh, this Mexican cocido has all kinds of goodies that is different. It's just different. It's different. I don't know. It's called the same thing as the Spanish cocido, but uh, but it's 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 a completely different plate. From I've been told, I have never tried the Spanish cocido, but I told I've been told. Look at that. Oh la la, look at this. BEA, beautiful. Just received print of yours. I love it and so appreciate your work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Much, much love. Much appreciated. Much obliged. Much obliged. All right, here we go. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Everybody who's been collecting my work, buying my work, buying my original paintings, my prints, my drawings. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very, 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 very much. You guys are awesome. I could not do this without you guys. Hope you guys know that. All you beautiful folks on the Instagrams. Thank you. It's been, a, it's been an awesome ride. It's been a beautiful, awesome ride. And I hope it continues to go that way. Where I'm creating artwork. And offering it to uh, to my friends, to my friends, offering it to my friends here on Instagram, on, on Facebook, of course, and uh, all over the place, all over the place. Look at this painting! Ooh la la! Keep going! Oh, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Man, it's it's been it's been uh, it's been windy today in the Arizonas. It's been very windy. It's just it's been that it's been that way for a while. Look at this. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but you know what? Regardless of how windy it is, let's get the crowd to go wild. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right. Did I told you guys I was gonna start doing some of this silly-ish.
How low can you go? Because of what? Huh? From what? Because you keep chanting that cheerleader chant. Is that a cheerleader chant? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. I, I don't know where I heard it. I heard it somewhere. I don't know. It's stuck in my head. It's stuck in my head. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it. Oh my god, the crowd goes wild. Ah, the hands, the hands. Oh my god, awesome. Dude, I love this applause. Give me another round of applause, people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew I was going to start doing some of this silly-ish. Look at that. Yeah, guys, so I've been, I've been having a lot of fun in my studio lately. Uh, lots of new stuff are happening. Been very focused on on uh, man. I've been very focused on content creation lately. I've been I've been I've been drinking some of that Gary V juice. Uh, my idea is to to get to a point, hopefully not 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 too uh, uh, far from now, is to to have a team of people that are helping me creating content in my studio. And and you know, that's the that's the dream, right? That's the dream. I want some. I want a team of people helping me create content here. That would be so amazing if we're doing some uh, some some kick-ass content. I think you're amazing. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, Bill Montana says, "Do you always uh, use just one brush for the whole painting?" No, not always. Many times, but not always. How's it going, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, say hi. Yeah, uh, not always. I uh, I try to change the brush depending on, on on the space, right? So these are little paintings. For the most part, I, I use a number ten brush like this. By the way, um, I'm releasing a video workshop on on my style of painting, and it's gonna be free. Okay, so those video workshops I sell them anywhere between forty nine and ninety nine bucks, but I'm gonna release a free one. I'm gonna do a freebie. Uh, I want to. I want to. I want to be able to to give it to everybody so that people can see what they're missing from my Jose Trujillo Academy. For those of you who don't know, I do teach this stuff, and I teach also uh, marketing and selling in my platform, my teachable platform, and it's been a lot of fun. We've been having a lot of people signing up. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I teach it, and I I uh, I do it. I release two new videos every month. So once a month you get two new videos plus the videos that are already there of course there's over 30 videos there that you can watch but i'm going to be releasing a free one and i'm going to release that this week so stay tuned because it's going to be a very cool thing i want to do that i want to be able to do that because lots of people lots of people can afford it lots of people cannot afford it and then lots of people are sitting in the middle they're like i don't know if i should i don't know if it's any good or whatnot and so i want to be able to give uh a free uh a free workshop that way people can see what they're missing not a little not a little peek not a little part no i want to i want to do a free a complete free workshop and i'm not i don't want to do it i'm going to do it and i'm going to release it this week and so that that's that's been fun too it's been fun doing that uh, my studio more and more parts of my studio are looking like a like a like a tv or movie set not a movie set of course but you know the lighting and the microphones and all that stuff it's been a lot of fun i'm also working on my on my podcast that's been a lot of fun as well man i've been i've been having lots of fun lately lots and lots of fun creating all kinds of je ne sais quoi. and most of it is is uh you know creating content like i mentioned creating content so that i'm able to help more artists in whichever way i can and also uh uh try to try to uh show up you know show up show up and, and let people know that that we're here we're here we're open we're, we're here to help um, what more important thing can an artist do other than than create artwork and, and show it, right? So at this stage in my in my career, it's not just about creating artwork. Creating artwork is very very important still, and it will always be very important. But uh, 
but right now we're focusing more and more also not just on creating artwork but creating content things that we can uh, content that we can we can produce to help other artists to help to help interior designers also on producing content to help interior designers in whatever way I can whichever way I can helping interior designers art collectors you know things to to look out for when you're collecting artwork and on and on all that cool stuff it's been a lot of fun man I can't stop what's up Eric how's it going Eric say hi and then we have Christian what's up Christian we have Carolyn 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 come on Carolyn say hi Patricia what's up Patricia man it's been a lot of fun guys I can't tell you enough I can't tell you enough how much fun this whole thing this whole ride has been uh, being a being an artist being an artist and doing the things that I've been doing lately I, I feel I feel too blessed to stress <laughs> also for those of you who are not following me on TikTok, man, you guys you guys gotta follow me on TikTok. I'm under the same name, Jose Trujillo Art. I've been blowing up on TikTok. I've been all over the place on TikTok. No, I'm just joking, I just started, but but TikTok has been fun. I'm 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 barely scratching the surface. But it's uh it's been a lot of fun. Can't lie about that, it's been a lot of fun. I didn't realize um that TikTok is uh Still, a bunch of a bunch of kids. <laughs> so they call me sir. They're like, sir, I have a question. Look at that. Hello, hello. How's it going, Karina? Good to good to see you here. Carolyn says hello. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. You and Van Gogh. He wanted everyone to have one of his sunflowers free. Yeah. I mean, that's really the the motivation of any artist. It's really to to bring as much as much artwork because with the with, as much artwork with to the people because artwork for the artist uh, it, it means more than just getting paid and, and you know selling the artwork as, as many people think no bringing the artwork is, is is a lot more than that it's 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 almost to me it's almost and I'm sure to many artists out there it's almost like a little spiritual thing you know if I'm able to to bring a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness to your day, to your life, that is, I mean, that is worth something. It should be worth something, no? It should be worth talking about it. It should be worth sharing it. It should be, um, at the very least, a smile. At the very least, a smile. When do you realize the artwork is finished? That's a great question. So when I realize the artwork is finished, it's, there's a little, um, it's a little feeling, you know, as you're going through the painting, you start realizing that there is, that if you add or take away, it doesn't really does do much for the artwork anymore. And so it's a little, it's a little gut feeling for me. For me anyway, it's a little gut feeling. It's like, oh, okay, this painting is finished. Look at that, boom, look at that painting. By the way, I will be auctioning this on eBay and the auction starts at $1. The link is in my profile for those of you who want to go check that out. I'm going to do another one. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please do post them. How's it going, Marina? What's up, Marina? If you guys have any questions, post them. Because I, I read questions, guys. I don't read all of them, but I read questions. I try to I try to engage as much as possible. I know a lot of artists here, they do videos and whatnot. They don't really engage with the crowd. I want to engage with the crowd. I want to with a crowd of five or the crowd of 10 or the crowd of 50. Sometimes I've gotten some good, like big crowds, but it's not the size of the crowd. It's, it's, it's the quality of the crowd that matters. And I, I love the quality of this crowd here at Therapeutic watching you. Oh, thank you. All right, let's, let's put another painting. Let's put another painting up. Let me see, I have a, have a canvas right here. Boom, here we go. So this one's a, a 14 by 14 inches. 14 by 14 inches. And again, we're gonna start out very simple like this. Look at this, this is gonna be our little horizon line. Ooh la la. This is going to be our vegetation right here. Ooh, very good. Very good, look at that. Super, 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 too, too, too legit to quit. 
Boom, look at that. There we go. There we go. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my brush. I'm gonna change my brush to one of my most expensive brushes that I use. This brush cost me about $2. $2, those dollars in a uh, Home Depot. I got it from a Home Depot store. It's a really, it's a really neat brush. But it does wonders, it's a, it's a magical brush. No cap, it's magical. Here we go, check this out. See how magical this brush is? When it's got the Midas touch. As soon as I touch my painting, it starts doing all kinds of je ne sais quoi. It's got all that magic in there. It's got all the Francois, all the ha ha ha. <laughs> it's got all the magic in there. Look at this. Boom. See what I mean? I'm telling you guys. Look at this. Look at that. That's my reflection, by the way. Let's see, Carolyn says, uh, do you have an idea in your head uh, or willing, uh, oh, gotcha, okay, okay, willing to improvise. <laughs> Marina, I use those too, this, this, this are life, these are life changing. Um, yeah, I have an idea in my head, but, but the idea is very simple, it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. The painting aspect is, is all improvised, you know, it's like I'm playing jazz here. The whole thing is improvised. You know, and for those of you who, who are like, oh yeah, that's fun. It's like, play yeah, but playing jazz, you have to know some notes, right? You have to know your scales, your notes, and, and, and you know, your rhythms and all that good stuff. It's the same way. And so you learn a few things, uh, as in jazz, you learn a few things, and, and then the rest of it is just have fun. You know, you just keep having fun with it. This has been painting for me for a long time. I learn a few tricks. And then I, I keep learning tricks, right? Because you never stop. But I, I learn some tricks and then and then all I'm doing is just having fun. You know, it's like learning some notes, some scales, um, some some different rhythms and whatnot with my paintings here. I'm comparing painting to music, because I think painting and music uh, are very, very similar. And and then all I do is just start having fun. Oh, I love that. Bar Barbara says, if you know your colors, it's like a symphony. Very true. I like your metaphors. Thank you so much. Love that. You use oil. I do use oil. Tal cual, jazz. Very true. Tal cual. That's a that's a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like music. It really is, you know, I, I, and, and I, I, I've been asked this question before, though, and so this is not the first time that I say this, uh, so it, it sounds cool, it sounds like I just came up with this, but <laughs> no, I've been thinking about this for years, what is, what is it, right, what is, I used to be a musician, by the way, so, so a lot of the uh, examples that I give also have to do with music, look at that. Boom. And at the end of the day, you improvise, but you stay within your your knowledge. Right? I don't get out of my knowledge too much. Some people, some people have accused me of being too simple. They're like, "Yeah, I love your art, but it's way too simple. You don't, you don't really get out of the of what you know." And I'm like, "Duh! <laughs> Why would I get out of what I know? You know? Of course not. I, I wanna, I wanna stay where where I know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I like to swim deep." But I, but I also, I know my boundaries, right? I know my boundaries. And I know that if I swim somewhere else where it's not me, it's not for me, I'll, I'll, I, won't, I won't know what to do, I'll, I won't survive. And so I stay, I stay within my boundaries, just like a musician stays within their boundaries. If you play jazz, if you play rock, if you uh, play country or whatever, there's certain, you can play anything, but there's certain boundaries and, and, and certain things that you do that uh, 
that won't allow you even 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 the the style won't allow you really to move much out of there if you if you're doing blues blue scales and whatnot you'll stay there you can't really do much unless you start you know really letting go and and and, e and even then you're gonna have to come back you'll go you'll try something and you have to come back to your scale you have to come back to your rhythm that's what i used to do when i was a musician and so to me it reminds me a lot of that you go you explore a little explore a little bit and come back uh one way that i look at it is like walking in in in, in the woods with my dog right with a very long leash with a very long leash so i let the dog explore with a very long leash but the dog still has a leash the dog the dog will come back you know it has to come back because there's a there's a huge leash and so i don't let it go look at that isn't that beautiful can we see your palette? Absolutely, absolutely. It's just that I, I'm charging my phone, so I can't really move my phone. But this is my palette. Look at that. Dude, I, I, I feel like I deserve a round of applause. I deserve a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Daniela? Uh, stay with it. You know what to do. I love that. Very true. If painting is like a visual poem, that's a beautiful way to put it. That is very true. Very, very true. <laughs> I love my round of applause. I love that. <laughs> I feel like Tinkerville. I, I, I survive with applause. I need applause to live. Look at this. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Now see, see, I come back to my, my, my brush, depending on, on where I'm at, right? If, 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 if there's a lot to paint, a big space to paint, I'll, I'll pull out a different brush, a different size. But right now, I, I'm feeling pretty confident with this brush right now. Sometimes I'll pull out a, uh, you know, I, I'm using this. Sometimes I'll pull out something, you know, three times its size or twice its size. It's more like twice. Almost, yeah, two or three times its size. And, and I'll do that. Just depends. Depends on what needs to happen. The most important thing is just, just to show up and start doing something. You know, the, the rest of it, it, it sorts out, it sorts out its, itself. It doesn't need much thinking. If you're just, if you're here, you're painting, you're showing up, you're doing your thing, you'll start doing, you'll start doing exactly what you need to do. Let me get some of that red. Boom. Look at that. B-E-A, beautiful. Now I wanna get some of that, that uh, Viridian and a little bit of, of, of yellow to make, to make a really nice green. Brighter right here, just a little brighter. Look at that. I love that. You're so right. Show up. Lesson for me. Yeah, I think I think we all need a little reminder of that. You know, sometimes I'm sometimes I am I'm, I'm I'm showing up, right? I'm doing my thing, but I but I stop showing up in other areas. And I need I need a reminder. Sometimes my wife reminds me of that. She's like, Hey dude, you, you haven't done A, B, and C that you need to do over here. I'm like, Oh damn. And it's not about it's not a matter of doing it right or perfect it's just a matter of going and doing it and, and then it starts working because the 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 quantity will will produce the quality 
The quantity will always produce the quality. You just got to do it over and over and over again. And before you know it, you start getting very good at it. Whatever it is. Start getting very, very good at it. All right. This. Let's do some of this right here. Oh, la la. You see that? Okay, Mika. I'm sorry, Mika. You want me to go do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mika. I'll go do it. Okay, I'll go do it. That's what I'm talking about. This is gorgeous. Are you using oils or acrylics? I'm using a um, no, not acrylics. I'm using oils. Uh, so yeah, there it is. There it is. It's that simple. Let me sign my name right here. It's gonna say, "World's Greatest Living Artist, Jose Trujillo," and the crowd goes wild. Ah, more applause. Another another round of applause, please. Yeah. Oh my God, Jose Trujillo, you're amazing. <laughs> there it is, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, man, I, I gotta unplug this phone. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I gotta go take care of something. I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go pay my rent. That's what I need to go do. Forgot to drop off the check yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I'll go do that, and then I'll see you guys in a bit, all right? Stay well and sophisticated, my friends. Those of you who want to see the palette, check it out. I got Soft Mixing White, Thalo Blue, Viridian. This is uh, artist muddy gray colors that I like to put there because I, I like to use them. That's Walnut Oil. This is Cadmium Yellow, Pale Hue, by the way. That's Cad Red. It's a deep hue. This is Dioxazon Purple. This is Magenta. This is lamp black okay lamp black and and this is my beautiful face and my name is jose trujillo thank you so much everybody peace out talk to you guys later adios